truth of life except from gems from the ocean of the being the most important thing in life is to discover your truth and then live by it truth is sublime truth alone is benediction bliss is revelation and also a victory it is a rebellion against the stupidities of the society in which we are brought up against the dull and the dead traditions that have been imposed upon us all kind of ideologies philosophies and theologies have been forced on each one of us one has to rebel against all that because those are the things which are keeping you tethered to your misery discontentment despair and all that you are facing in life unless you uproot all that has been imposed on you by others you will never attain to truth and without experiencing truth there will be no bliss life will remain barren the society lives in misery and the society goes on conditioning every child from the time it comes into the world the parents the teachers the neighbors the priests the politicians are all miserable they are all together imposing what is right what is wrong what you have to do what you have not to do and of course they create just replica of themselves they create every child in their own image and they are miserable people they sow the seeds of misery in you so many miserable people working hard on a child are bound to destroy all his intrinsic blissfulness his intrinsic qualities bliss is intrinsic and natural but it can be destroyed at least it can be covered with false and all that is rubbish you can be made to forget all about it and that is what has been and that is what they have been doing a rebellion is needed and unless one is ready to rebel one cannot tread the spiritual path your inward journey cannot begin unless there is rebel rebel against all that creates misery in you and you will be surprised to know that you have to rebel against the whole mind that up to now you thought was yours you have to rebel against your conditionings your belief systems and all that has been imposed upon you indeed mind is your enemy and not your friend because mind has been converted into a belief system to keep you oppressed and miserable and if one is ready to rebel against the mind bliss explodes 
and brings victory. The only victory which can be really called victory is not the victory over somebody. The only victory which can be really called victory is not victory over somebody else. Instead, the victory over your own innermost self. The victory which makes you capable of entering into the kingdom of God, your innerness. Remember, you have to rebel to enter into the kingdom of God, which is your innerness. The most important thing in life is to discover your truth. Certainly it is there because we are alive and we are conscious. We have to dig into our consciousness and we have to go to the very source of it. And once you have found it, you have found your truth. Once you know who you are, you have discovered your truth. This is the only criteria. Once you know who you are, you have discovered your truth. Once you know who you are, you have discovered truth. Once you know who you are, you are liberated. You will live in the same way. Nothing on the outside will change. But still, you will be a totally different person. In one sense, everything will be the same. In another sense, nothing will be the same anymore. Because now you will have perspective which is timeless and deathless. Now you know that you have. Now you know that you were before birth and you will be after death as well. Now that you have seen your original face, you are freed from all small things like life's failures and successes. They all look so small and insignificant that one can remain absolutely centered in every kind of situation. Nothing makes you waver. Your grounding is so solid and so is your centeredness. This centeredness is the goal of a spiritual life. This grounding, integrity, unwavering consciousness, which remains untouched by everything, is indeed the goal of a spiritual life. And once this is discovered, there is nothing more to discover. Then one can live the ordinary life with an extraordinary beauty, with an extraordinary bliss, with grace, with God within one.